second half they're able to you know, find a way to Yeah, our intensity, um, you know, our, our conditioning definitely has to improve. Our our intensity at second half, um, you know, they shoot uh, you know, the first half they shoot thirty one percent, second half they shoot almost fifty. Uh, they shoot 23% from three the first half. They shoot 41 the second. Uh, they scored 29 the first half, 43 the second. Big difference defensively, you know, and uh, our communication, our fight and the dribble, offensive rebounds. You know, they got, uh, I know they had eight points there, I think, in that second half off offensive rebounds. So uh, was not in our defensive transition, uh, defensive balance at times. Uh, guards are just standing there watching. They weren't going the boards, and they weren't getting back. It's not a good combination. You talk about getting Caden more close to the threes and seeing his points that he was actually quite passive in the first half. But then in the second, particularly after that timeout, obviously makes a couple and ran the whole later. But how did you feel about his play in the first half? Well, I, you know, I thought he was trying to make plays for people. He was trying to push it. You know, we wanted to get some transition. Um, you know, we we scored what 38 the first half. Bowl misses a dunk. We missed some free throws. It, we just weren't very sharp, and uh, so I was disappointed. You know, in, in our focus at times, uh, our coverage defensively, um, you know, and just our toughness. You know, and defensively, uh, we're not making good decisions. We sell out. We give up some easy baskets. Transition. We don't talk and give up some easy baskets. So. We got a tremendous amount of work to do. I hope that we can learn from a win. You know, a lot of times teams only can learn from losses. Uh, I hope we can learn from a win and and uh, do a much better job. Coach, uh, in the second half, Rigo was able to come back on you and it seemed kind of deviate. Uh, do you think it was a change in effort or execution? In the well, we turned it over and that led to some real easy baskets. And then, you know, we, we let their good shooters shoot threes, you know. Uh, uh, a couple of them we were up on, but a couple of them, you know, we were going back zone. Kenny falls asleep, gives a wide open three in the corner. Um, so, again, our focus, our attention to detail, I, I didn't think was very good. And, uh, again, that, and that showed in the percentages, especially that second half. You had turnovers all over the place. You guys did get the job. Done. Absolutely. You know, we turned the ball over, you know, 13 times, only have 11 assists. Uh, a lot of those turnovers, you know, guys driving, trying to make something for themselves, you know, not thinking about making a play. So, uh, again, a lot of work to do. Uh, we don't play again until next Monday. We've got a chance to practice here uh, over the holidays. we spent a lot of time in the gym. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. And, uh, you know, I hope, that, like I said, the guys will put pressure on themselves after a, w after a win uh, so that we can get better. Well, yeah, we, you know, we want to try to get, you know, Bowles a terrific score. He, he was 8 for 12. I, I just didn't think he posted up very hard. I thought they pushed him around a little bit. I'm going to have to take a look at the film and, and see. But, uh, and we played him too many minutes. Uh, you know, I, I don't think he's ready for 33 minutes right now. Uh, so, again, we, I've got to do a better job there keeping the intensity level. Um, but our guys have got to do a better job talking and, and learning the offense, learning the defense. We, we had a lot of possessions where guys were out of position and uh, uh, they don't communicate with each other. So all of us got to do a better job there. And so okay, we had a few offensive boards and a lot of scoring as I just saw production nights in nearly a year uh, with 12 minutes. Well, he, he got three big offensive rebounds. I think he put all three of them back in. And we had seven check, second chance points, and I think he probably had all of them, or he had six of them for sure. So I don't know if he got fouled on one. I think he had a free throw somewhere. So uh, again, you know, um, yeah, he did hit a free throw. I don't know if that was a three-point play. I can't remember, but I think he had all seven of our, our second chance points. Well, he, he just he made two defensive mistakes for five points and then, you know, made a bad, you know, offensive decision. We're in a game. You know, he's, he's, he's a good player and he's going to be a good player, but he didn't have a good night. He gave up five points in our zone where he didn't rotate and, uh, and then he had a, 
uh, an offensive play where he just made the decision what he was going to do and didn't read the defense. So um, I wanted to get him back in that second half, but obviously uh, we, we had to figure out a way to win the game. Well, the next, really the next three weeks, uh, you know, we uh, play Monday and Saturday next week, and then we've got finals and play on the 8th, you know. So from now until the 8th, we, we've got to make tremendous progress. We're, we're not a very good basketball team. We've got a lot of work to do. And, uh, you know, the next three weeks with a lot of practice time, we've got to get better in practice. And uh, we can't make the defensive rotation mistakes that we made. Uh, we can't let – Dribble penetration, our defensive balance getting back. I, like I said, I, you know, they're a good team. Now. I, I don't want to take any, their athleticism is pretty good. Their depth is pretty good. Um, you know, so I don't want to take anything away from them. But I just didn't think we were very focused. I didn't think we were very sharp.